Hello engineers, in this video we will learn how we can deploy resources on AWS Cloud using Terraform in a very quick way. If you enjoy my content and you want to support me for free, press the like button and subscribe on my channel. In this video we will try to deploy our resources in AWS Cloud using Terraform. In order to do that we should go first on our AWS account and search for the IAM service. In the IAM service, we can go and create users for our AWS account. So under users, we should go and first create a user and then use the credentials of this user, an access key and also a password in order to create resources on our account. So we will now go and create a new user. And for example, we can say the name of the user as Terraform test video. This user will have some specific permissions which will indicate which actions this user can make in our account. So we will go now and attach some policies directly in this specific account that we create. Those policies specify what actions can a specific user or service do on AWS. My Terraform script will be a very simple script that will go only and create a new VPC inside my account. So in order to create this VPC, I will need to have permissions to create resources. As you can see, we can select from a wide variety of predefined policies as administrator access. This administrator access will give you almost every access that can be done inside an AWS account but using the least privilege methodology we don't want to give a permission like that and we will narrow down the permissions to only the required ones as a result i will go and search for vpc and only provide the permissions that will give access to create and edit vpcs for example i can use the amazon vpc full access for now and go and press next as i don't have anything else to specify i don't need tags for example i can go and create my user as you can see we have now our terraform test video user which has the permissions with the attached policies then we can go under the tab security credentials and under this tab we can go and create a new access key these access keys will be used with our Terraform script in order to create new resources. So I will go and create a new access keys and I will say that I want them for a local code that I will deploy in my machine. So I will use the local code as an option and then I can give a description like local Terraform deployment. Then I can create this specific access key and as you can see, we get a key and also a secret which is a hidden value let's switch now to our terraform script and find out how we can deploy the resources on aws in this sample that i have created as you can see we specify our terraform provider as we want to deploy on aws cloud we will use the amazon created aws provider and using that provider we can create the resources that we need so i'm using the provider and under the provider section as you can see you can specify an access key and a secret key and those are the ones that we have created for the user previously so i will go and copy these values and place them inside my terraform script the section which describes what will be created is the resource and as you can see we create an aws vpc resource with a specific name that can be found under the tags so in this resource that i'm creating you can see that i only specify the cidr block which indicates the address space of this vpc that i'm creating inside aws so in order to deploy my resources i will need to navigate in the path where i have saved my script and then perform the terraform init this will go and download the necessary provider that is needed in order to deploy inside aws and the specific provider is first based on the conditions that we have specified that we need to have version 5 and newer as the init is finished we can go and perform the terraform plan the terraform plan we create the plan that is going to be deployed inside our cloud so then as i can see what is going to be created by performing this terraform script 
I can go then and perform the Terraform apply. The first thing is to confirm that you want to apply these specific values and by pressing yes, Terraform will go and create the resources that you have indicated. As you can see, one resource is added and by navigating in our AWS cloud, we can go under VPCs and then check for the one that we have created. The important thing to note is that you should navigate under the specific region that you have selected for your deployment. As you can see in the provider tab, I have specified that the region I want to deploy is the EU West one. So I will need to go inside my AWS account and find the EU West one region. So by navigating inside this region, we can see the VPC that we have created with Terraform which has the specific CIDR block that we specified in the Terraform. Thanks for watching, I hope you liked this video and let me know in the comments below if you use Terraform or another infrastructure as code tool for your deployments.